I'm now 1223 in state of addiction. As the U.S. continues to push for an end to the opioid epidemic, one group is asking the next generation for solutions to the crisis. The Drug Enforcement Administration is partnering with a group to put on a youth summit on opioid awareness. Here to tell us more about the event, Special Agents Debbie Weber and Brian Singleton. It is Singleton, right? Correct. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys for being here. Uh, tell us what all is happening at this summit. Well, at the summit, uh, Gina, we're a partnership with uh, the Mark Warburg Youth Foundation, DEA, and the Rendon Group, who are going to produce this youth summit. Um, it's going to be a summit where a part of our DE360 program, and DE360 is a program uh, that's assigned to different cities throughout the United States every year. So New Orleans in 2019 was assigned a DE360 city. So a big part of the 360 is the youth summit. During the Youth Summit, we plan on having resources there, entertainment, uh, specifically geared to New Orleans, you know, to keep our kids informed, uh, keep, them, uh, keep them interested. But mainly it's going to be information provided about opioids, situational awareness for teachers, parents, and the kids. Why this event? Why now? I mean, we want to arm them with as much information as they can get so they can go back and tell their peers that couldn't make the summit how important it is to not even try an opioid or any kind of drug. These days you can't try drugs because you, could, you don't know how it's going to affect your body. You could overdose. Um, this country is an epi epidemic. There's 130 people dying every day from an opioid overdose. And last year in Louisiana, in Louisiana alone, we lost 1,100 people. So it's just, it's incredible. This, addiction it just grips people and they and they need to be aware that they can't even try it they can't go down that path i mean that's interesting you talk yeah. about the uh, the grip that addiction can have on people is that why we're targeting uh, middle school kids what's the uh, a thought behind targeting uh, that age group well we f we want to start with our young people because that's the future and we want to target the middle school and high school kids like i said because that's the future uh they're mainly, a lot of times, they're the ones on social media. Um, and uh, for the most part, um, the Youth Foundation, Jim Wahlberg, who produces uh, um, the movie, If Only, is going to be a part of the program. Uh, he's a recovering addict himself. And a lot of people don't know that. And he felt it in his heart that he wanted to target you know, young people uh, so they didn't fall into the same traps he did. OK, uh, just before we go, uh, when and where is the summit and how can people register? It's at the UNO mm -hmm. Lakefront Arena. It's October the 1st, and it's going to be from 9.30 to 12.30. And the students and, and teachers and parents, they have to be registered. So go to drugfreeisuptome.org and register, and then the tickets will be mailed to them. It is a free event. This is totally free, but the schools have to provide the transportation. Um, we just want as, as many kids to register as possible because this is such an important topic that we just want to spread the word about mm -hmm. how bad um, opioids are. We're trying to get about 6,000 kids if possible. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, yes, ma I'm hosted so, by yours yeah. truly. Yeah, I would say exactly. That as well. So Jean, we're hoping, we hoping that the viewers, your viewers see this and you know, reach out to the school administrators to go to the portal, uh, drugfreeisuptome.org. Okay. We, we can't stress that enough. All right, good information. We'll be right back.